everyone, this is Nick Domenel, uh, BrookfieldAngler.com. I am here with my new 2017 Hobie Outback. I went with blue this year, typically I go with yellow kayaks, but I wanted to switch it up and be a little different, so I went with blue. Uh, we are going to be setting this thing up and getting it ready to, to go and, and use and kind of put together the way that I personally like to set up my Outback. Uh, everybody likes to do their own things to them, so you know nobody ever has to necessarily set it up the exact same way that I do. But um, if you want to, I'm going to make sure that I walk everybody through uh, exactly what I do, a little bit of why I do it, uh, and, and how I do it. Um, all the upgrades that we're going to do this year are going to be um, some very simple ones. Um, the uh, we're going to do. A, a sailing rudder, uh, we're going to do some turbo fins, we're going to put the H rails on this kayak as well. Uh, I did that last year. Uh, there was a, a big number of people requesting a how-to video on how to do the H rails on the Outback. Uh, I'm finally going to do that this year. Uh, but first, what we're going to focus on uh, is just two of the very most basic things that I think almost anybody should do as soon as they get an Outback. This boat has not been in the water yet. I haven't done anything to it. Um, in like every outback that I ever get, the two things that I'm going to do to it before it ever sees water are going to, going to be that big sailing rudder and the turbo fins on the Mirage Drive. So the reason why I do the sailing rudder, very simply, I just like to turn as fast and as possible and have as much control as I possibly can. The stock rudder works good, um, but the sailing rudder just works great. So. So to me that's a no-brainer. Uh, this is kind of what that looks like. So big sailing rudder here. Uh, the, I'll show you a comparison once I get the other one off as far as the size difference goes. But nice and big. It's very easy to, to switch out. Uh, the other thing that we're going to be putting on are the turbo fins. Okay. So these are bigger than the regular fins that come on the drive. So this is, in case you guys haven't seen this yet, this is the Mirage uh, ND180 uh, drive. This is the new one for 2017 that everybody's been really excited about. Hobie finally has reverse. A lot of people like to say first with reverse and everything, and that's, that's all great. Um, to me, it's all irrelevant. Ours is still different. We have reverse. It's easy. It's fun. It's awesome. Um, we're just going to make it a little bit faster now. So these are the stock fins on there. These are the new ones. So as you can see, quite a bit bigger, a little more surface area. So the reason I do this is just very simply, I just like to go a little bit faster. So if I'm getting to and from a spot or trying to get back to, you know, back to the dock or back to a weigh-in, uh, it's just the faster I could go, the faster I could get back there, which gives me more time to actually fish. So we're going to start with these two things um, and. I'm going to start walking you guys through how, how I do that. So, enjoy. Hope this helps. Feel free to comment. Any questions? Anything else that you got? Let them rip. Alright, so first thing we're changing here. Uh, rudder. So this is the stock rudder. Um, it, like I said kind of before, it works well enough. It's, you know, it functions, it makes you turn, and all that other fun stuff. Um, but I just want something a little bit bigger. So what we have here is it's called, uh, and everything that, I, that I've gotten for this boat, uh, is, it, it all comes from Quest Water Sports throughout Ottawa, Illinois. A tremendous company, su super nice to work with. Um, so this is called, if you look, the Rudder Blade Large Twist and Stow. Um, this has been the same rudder that's been on every Outback and uh, the Revolution line, and pretty much every kayak that Hobie makes with the exception of the Pro Angler. Uh, this is your rudder upgrade right here. So, uh, we're going to put this on. This is probably one of the easiest things to actually do. Uh, this is really just a matter of six screws here. Um, so, you've got six Phillips head screws. On the back, there are uh, six nylon lock nuts as well. What's nice about these rudder blades is that they're molded in. The, 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 there's a little molded area that the nuts fit into. So all you really need is a screwdriver. Um, I like a drill, it's just faster. You can use a screwdriver, uh, but you don't really need a wrench. So all you really do is go ahead and start unscrewing here. 
sure that you, you keep an eye on all those nuts because they can't fall out like that one just did. Before the nuts here are molded in, uh, you're going to have to transfer these from the original uh, rudder back uh, onto the new ones. So just go ahead and pop all those out if they haven't popped out. So I, a lot of times just like to take one of the screws here and just sort of put it in the back side and then those will just pop right off. are out, so we're going to get the new runner out. And again, just for a nice side-by-side -side comparison of what we're looking at here. So, new one, old one, new one, old one. A lot, lot bigger. Like I said, you could turn really, really quick. I could turn this kayak around with a sailing rudder on there. Uh, I don't know, maybe less than a bolt length, so it's it just really, really helps with maneuverability. So, I get the new one on, the first thing you do is start taking all those nuts that you took off the old one, and if you look, you can see the little molded areas here. So, this is sort of where these go, and just pop in there. You just sort of give them a little squeeze, and, and they'll get in there. Don't worry about making them perfect. They will tighten down and seat correctly as you tighten everything up. Now at the moment, I'm just going to start with the first three here. And then I just want to start getting this going. So we're not going to tighten everything down yet. We're going to get everything, all the screws and nuts, loosely started here. That they're going. Now that we've got everything started, we're just going to go ahead and stitch everything down, and we're done. So you don't have to go crazy, just you know, make sure they're tight. The nylon lock nuts will do a really good job of keeping these screws in place. Alright, there we go. And that's it. That's changing the saving rudder. It's really nice and easy. Uh, that's ready to go. All your deploying functions still work. Um, like I said, you just turn them up a heck of a lot faster. So um, that took us about all five minutes. Like I said, probably one of the easiest modifications that we could actually do to the to the Hobie Outbacks. So next up, we're going to start playing around with the Mirage Drive and putting on the big old turbo fins. Uh, so stay tuned. <laughs> 